Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to ITOCHAP Reviewers. In this video, I wanna go over iOS 11.1 .1 and its release to the public. So uh, today, Apple dropped iOS 11.1 uh, at about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, this is <laughs> kind of weird because I had filmed a video yesterday, if you guys saw the iOS 11.2 beta, where I uh, predicted that iOS 11.1 .1 would be dropped today or Thursday. So just kind of funny that I set that to be scheduled at 11 a.m. today uh, and iOS 11.1 .1 came out today. So pretty cool there. But anyways, on with iOS 11.1, .1. what's new? So honestly, the biggest thing that most people are gonna notice is the emojis. Like I know people are kind of mad that that seems to be what Apple's pushing instead of the you know Apple Pay with iMessage and the iMessages in the cloud, but Emoji are apparently important to them. So there's over 70 new emoji in this update. Uh, there's the 3D Touch app switcher, which is finally back. I've been waiting for that. I kind of got used to not using it, uh, but it's great to have the 3D Touch app switcher back. Uh, and there's obviously more bug fixes within. Overall, some animations actually do feel a little bit quicker uh, than they did before. Uh, but you guys can see they tweaked some of the uh, emoji and I know in iOS 11.2 beta, uh, they even tweaked them even more, but here's some of the stuff that's been changed if you guys want to read through some of that. Um, but the biggest thing for me is the 3D Touch app switcher. Uh, next up is the emoji and then the bug fixes. So this also fixes the crack exploit if you are running an iPhone 7 or higher. Fortunately, Apple actually didn't patch this on the lower devices according to their release notes. So if you have an iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6S, this update didn't patch that vulnerability, which is really weird. Not quite sure why Apple did that. Uh, but if you have an iPhone 7 or newer, this does patch the crack exploit. So do I recommend that you update to this? Absolutely. It's a great update. Uh, I haven't run into really any issues yet. I've been running it since it released and so far it has been really nice. So definitely check this one out, guys. Uh, again, lots of new things in it, including emojis, 3D touch, app switcher and more. Uh, so go check it out. If you like to stay up to date with all the Apple news and reviews, be sure to hit subscribe uh, and like this video. I do have an iPhone 10, uh, either an unboxing or first look video coming later this week on Friday when I get mine. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm getting the silver one. So in case you want to see what that one looks like, I'll have videos up on that. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Again, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.